can run away You say you wanna do You wanna go back, wanna go back You wanna go back to a place where we can hide You wanna stay there, wanna stay there You wanna stay there, we can leave the pain behind Stay, stay Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I tweeted today what kind of video you guys want to see and I asked if you wanted to see a short hair hair tutorial or if you want to see my headboard which is this DIY situation back here. And a lot of you wanted to see this. So that is what I'm gonna show you guys today. This video is gonna be super short because this is so simple, I kid you not. Pretty much all the materials I used for this DIY, you can get it at Target. If you don't have a Target near you, God bless, I'm so sorry. Or pretty much any department store that you have in your town. So with that being said, I'm just gonna get started. If you guys like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up -y and subscribe to my channel if you are new here and let's get started. So this is super simple. You guys will be like, what? That's all you have to do? And yes, girl, very simple DIY for you today. So right here, I just bought a curtain rod. Just get like the cheapest one possible because you're not really gonna be staring at it. So get yourself a thin one because you don't want something like really thick just on the top of your wall. Unless that's the look you like, then Go ahead, girl. I got this rod right here from Target. I think it was about $10. And then you also need to get some sheer curtains. This one is just the Target brand, so nothing fancy. I think it was $4.99 per panel, so I just have two of them. You can use one if you want, but I decided to use two because it gives it more of that like layered look that I like. So once you have your curtain just slipped into your rod, just set that aside and you can work on the lights on the wall. Now for the lights. I got these on Amazon. Just go on Amazon and type in firefly or fairy lights. The color I have is warm white. You can do whatever color you want. They have assorted colors. I just chose warm white because I like that more cozy feeling whenever I'm in my bedroom. So you can actually get these at your department store or you can get it at Hobby Lobby, any sort of craft store. But I find that they charge a lot. Like they sell them at Urban Outfitters for like $30 or something. This right here, I believe was only $13 on Amazon. So do that. So all I did is just put up the hooks right here. The hooks should come with your curtain rod when you buy them. So just use those hooks and once you get that on there to the height you want, you can just bring your lights and hang them over the hooks. Simple as that. If you guys are having a hard time with which lights to get, I'm just gonna link below which one I got on Amazon. I don't remember exactly the measurement of this one, but you just wanna make sure you get one that's long enough for you to do this pattern and make it dangle. So the shape I did here is kinda like an M or a W. It's really up to you whatever pattern you wanna do. I just secured it with a little bit of tape right here so that it doesn't pop out. Now you're pretty much done. This takes like less than 10 minutes to do and it's really inexpensive. So a really good way to just decorate your room and make it look all Pinteresty and cutesy. Once I have this, I'm just gonna place it on the hooks and we is done. For you guys today hope you like this short little quick video be sure to stay tuned on my channel because my next video I'm gonna talk a little bit more about my hair if any of you just got a haircut or if you have a shorter look or maybe you have very fine thin hair like I do and you want to get that voluminous like va va boom hair then stay tuned because that's what I'm gonna show you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys in my next one bye
quick story about my ex before WAP. After he cheated on me with this other girl and we completely broke it off, a few months later, he decided to message me on Facebook and he wrote me this long ass paragraph about how he hopes that I know that our breakup was mutual and that he still cares for me and that this was a decision that we made together. Um, I did not ask to be cheated on. I don't think we agreed on that bitch, but um, okay.